All right, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be actually painting some calipers for the 2015 Mustang. Here we are in the rear caliper uh, of the car. Boom, boom. So what we're gonna be doing, the color uh, that I've chosen is gonna match the rest of the theme of my car. Um, the lime green from G2. Um, I've used them a number of other times on other cars. Works fantastic, holds up very well. Uh, so we'll go ahead, kind of get the process underway. First of all, we'll show you exactly kind of the process of cleaning them. Uh, these are all the tools and everything that you're gonna need here. Um, makes it really easy, instead of using a wire brush, bust into your elbows to get these things clean. I just take a power drill and buy a circular wire uh, brush and just go around like this. All around it, like that. Boom. All right, we're gonna go ahead, finish off doing the rest of this. We'll get to the next step. All right, we'll just go ahead and clean off all the dust and everything we got off of this with uh, some brake cleaner. All right, guys, so next step here is we're going to tape off everything uh, that we don't want to get any paint on uh, at all. Just basically use uh, some uh, blue painter tape. We're going to go ahead, mask off pretty much all of this part of the road or anything where paint could drip, uh, go, you know, off the, off the, uh, the rotor, slip onto the, uh, or off the, excuse me, off of the uh, caliper, slip onto the rotor. Um, try to tape off some of this here. I want to keep that black. Um, anything rubber, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, tape off. Um, got these here. So we'll go ahead. We'll start by doing that now. And uh, next step is we'll get the painting. All right, and guys, here we go. Finished taping everything off. We're all set to start painting. Uh, again, taped off the rotors, everything around there where we could get paint. Back and the front, in between there. The rubber piece is here, here. The rubber uh, piece here. The bolt that goes to the brake line. The e-brake, where I make sure that I do not get any paint. We're going through this process. We'll go ahead. Next step is I'm going to show you kind of this uh, the general uh, process of uh, mixing the paint, getting everything set. Here we go, guys. Okay, and here's everything that comes in the G2 brake caliper paint kit. You get a paintbrush, a stir stick, and you get the reactant uh, that you pour into the actual can of paint itself, there we go. and you do get brake cleaner along with it as well. So it comes with everything you can do yourself. Personally, uh, when I've done it in the past, uh, I've actually got different brushes, so a foam brush as well as another uh, bristled brush. Uh, so basically we're really set here I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna mix the reactant and with the paint now here's a little tip if you uh, want to keep some paint for later actually you're gonna want to uh, make sure you did like a baby jar or something along those lines um, and take a little of the paint out of the can before you add the reactant after that it will harden up and you cannot use it ever again uh, 
So make sure that if you want to save any uh, for any chips, putting wheels back on, stuff like that, um, you nick them, uh, you don't have to buy a whole nother kit. Get a little baby jar or something that seals nice and tight. Pour a little bit out of this and keep a little reactant as well. Uh, we're gonna go ahead now, add those two together, and then we can start with the paint. go next step we're gonna go ahead start applying the layers to the caliper All right, and there we go. So this is just the first coat. As you can tell, very light. You can still see the metal showing through in a lot of places. Just want to get that first coat on there. Boom. Let it dry and then go on the second coat. The second coat is going to bring out the color more. Uh, so when you start putting it on, don't worry that it does. it's not the color that you're looking for. Um, it's not until the second, even third coat, where you start getting the color um, that you're that you're wanting and that you saw in the pictures and that you uh, ordered off their website. All right, guys, and here we have the front. So we've done the same thing. We just cleaned it off, and there's little there's end of a screw here. Uh, there's a pin here, pin here, pin here, pin. And another end of a screw here. So I've taped all of those off, and then as well as this um, rubber uh, grommet here, and then just that spot right there. So we're gonna finish this side up, and we should be good. This front brake caliper is probably four times the amount of surface area as the rear caliper was. So this is gonna take a lot more paint, uh, to be honest with you, if you really want to get good coverage uh, on the Mustang anyway, and you have these large, or if you just have these larger calipers, you're going to want to get two kits uh, because you don't want to not have enough coverage and you can still see the, the metal showing through. It's not going to be the color you wanted. It's not going to look how you want it to look. So do yourself a favor right off the bat, get two kits and you'll be set. Here we go. So we got this all set up. We've got it. Uh, it's dried. I actually left it overnight. And then the last step, just because I like to make sure that everything I do has the kind of the littlest touches on it. We got a high temperature uh, decal. Just picked it up off of eBay. And we'll kind of line it up here. Sure that you push down firmly. And we even got this little guy right here too. So we'll find the middle. These can go on cornered surfaces as well. Kind of make sure that you push them down as you go along the uh, the side of it here. Easy as that. There we have it. Calipers 
hard finish.